cars from <laughs> from, from the set. Of course, getting Tony and Doug to different exotic and historical locales every week didn't come cheap. But when things got tight, Irwin could always take advantage of 20th Century Fox's vast library of stock footage. When we had Kyber riflemen, we had 20,000 Kyber riflemen, see. We didn't just have six guys uh, out of the stunt union coming out there riding old nags. We had some great, great uh, stock footage shots. I thought it was intercut beautifully. It made the production look like it was five times as, as costly as what it actually was. I mean, that fools people today. He was a pioneer. He was a man who always knew what was going on on all of his sets, all of his scripts, all of his writers, directors, crews, cast. He was the consummate professional producer. Irwin, uh, you know, he was, uh, he was all right. He, he was a very sensitive man. He hired good people, and, and that's why They've stuck with him all those years because they could relate to almost anything he did, even though it's fantasy. But fantasy, we live in fantasy more than we live in reality. And I think that's why there was always a place for an Irwin Allen. Although the time tunnel was one of Irwin's personal favorites, it lasted just one season. And despite the fact that there were only 30 episodes produced, it continues to be an audience favorite around the world. Erwin Allen really was ahead of his time.